are Asian keywords showing up on your website search results? Are you being redirected to shady sites when you try to log in? This is called the Japanese keyword hack. It's a dreaded malware infection where hackers inject spammy Japanese words into your website pages and can lead to several things going wrong. When the pages get analyzed by Google, your appearance and ranking on search results gets changed and you'll start ranking for these Japanese keywords. This is a typical tactic used by hackers who want to promote illegal or gray market products that would ordinarily not be allowed on Google search. The malware can also redirect your website users to spammy websites. The average website user won't realize that you are a victim of a malware infection. They will end up blaming your website for that bad experience. In this video, I'll help you effectively get rid of this hack, conduct damage control, and prevent your website from getting hacked like this again. There are some videos online about handling this situation, but they have outdated or incomplete information. We have a team of security engineers in-house, so you can trust that we can help you with the most verified and reliable steps. All right, let's get into it. How to find the damage from Japanese keyword hack on your website. The only definitive way to know how much of your site is hacked is to scan it. However, all scanners don't work in the same way, so you can get varying results from them. Deep scan your website with security plugin. As of now, there are only two deep malware scanners that are actually effective, Malcare and WordFence. We recommend Malcare for four main reasons. It scans every inch of your website to find all possible malware and backdoors. It has the least amount of false positives and the fastest scanner. Its scans don't impact the performance of your website. It's completely free to use. You can check out a detailed comparison between the two in the video linked above. If there is any malware on your website, no matter how well it is hidden, Malcare will find it in minutes. Malcare Scanner uses a powerful self-learning algorithm to detect malware, which goes above and beyond the file matching or signature matching that other malware scanners do. That's why, Malcare is the most effective plugin for catching all possible malware with minimum false positives. Front end scan with online scanner. The second alternative is to use an online security scanner like Sukuri Sidecheck, which will show up the following code if it detects the Japanese keyword hack on your website. Bear in mind though that not all scanners are built the same. Online security scanners are always less efficient than security plugins. Online scanners can only access the front end of your website, like the posts, the pages, or comments from the database and the uploads folder from the files. The core WordPress files and some other critical parts of the website are inaccessible externally for security reasons. Thus, online scanners cannot scan those places for malware. However, malware can and very often does reside in core WordPress folders. Therefore, while the online scanner is a good diagnostic tool, it cannot be expected to give you a complete picture of the extent of the infection. Step number two, how to get rid of the Japanese keyword hack from your website. Once you have confirmed that your website has been hacked, the next critical step is to remove it as fast as possible. Malware causes exponentially more damage the longer it remains on your website. There are three ways to remove the Japanese keyword malware on your WordPress site. Number one, use a security plugin to clean the hack. Number two, hire a WordPress security expert. Number three, clean the hack manually. Use a security plugin to clean the hack. There are many security plugins in the market. It can quickly become difficult to choose the best one for you. From our experience of cleaning thousands of sites, we have identified four necessary identifiers of an effective cleanup plugin. Malcare is the only plugin on this list that fulfills all four criteria of our ideal cleanup plugin. It is able to do this because Malcare Malcare protects over 100,000 websites with its firewall and has a powerful self-learning algorithm that analyzes all these attacks every day. These continuous updates give it the firepower to catch even the smallest traces of malware, clean the site instantly, and even prevent the same hack from returning again. Best of all, you don't have to wait for more than five minutes to get your website totally malware-free. If you have used Malcare to scan your website, then all you need to do is upgrade to clean. Your website is protected for a year and you have access access to top WordPress security experts to help any issues you may have with your website. Even if you can't access your site to install a plugin because your web host has suspended your site or your site may be redirecting, Malcare has an emergency service to help you out. All you need to do is reach out to their 24-7 customer support. Here's a table covering the pros and cons of each malware removal plugin. You can pause the video and go over this. But if you ask me, I'd recommend Malcare because it is the fastest and most effective solution, which also does not burn a hole in your pocket. Full disclosure, you may see me recommending Malcare and wonder if I'm being biased. See, the Blogwall team has helped in the building of the Malcare plugin, but I'm being 100% unbiased here and sharing only the facts with you. I am so confident in fact that I am ready 
ability to put my money where my mouth is. If you try Malcare and it is not able to clean up your hack, I can promise you a money back guarantee, no questions asked. This is how confident I am that Malcare is actually the most effective malware cleanup tool in the market. Number two, get a malware removal service to clean your website. The next best option to using a security plugin is to get a malware removal service to do it. Here's a list of the WordPress experts who provide really dependable service. They are well known for their expertise. However, please keep in mind that they may assign you a slot based on their availability. So you might have to wait a few days before you get a resolution. Additionally, malware removal services can be more expensive because they charge per cleanup. Since they do not guarantee against reinfection, these costs can rapidly become prohibitive. You'll also find vendors on Fiverr, but I would not recommend them due to a lack of reliability. Remove the Japanese keyword hack manually. It is theoretically possible to remove any malware manually from a WordPress site, but that does not mean that it is at all advisable. Admins who have tried to clean their website manually have either seen the hack reappear almost immediately because not all malware was removed, or their website has broken because they deleted good code accidentally. In all cases, it has been a frustrating experience with small chances of success. Therefore, after seeing hundreds of websites in bad shape, I strongly advise against manual malware removal. However, if you're still adamant about trying this out, I'll link a video above with detailed steps to take you through this. Step number three, how to damage control after cleaning the hack. The Japanese keyword malware is now off your website. There are a few things you need to do now for damage control. I've listed them here in order of priority. Remove unauthorized users from Google Search Console. Go into your search console and you should be able to remove them easily. If there are any unauthorized owners added, the removal process is a little bit more complicated. I'll link an article below to help you through this. Clean all the caches to remove any cached copies of your website that may contain the malware. Request Google to re-index your site and resubmit a clean sitemap. If your site's search results are still showing Japanese characters after the malware removal, it is because Google hasn't re-crawled your website. Requesting re-indexing will solve this issue and submitting a clean sitemap will speed up the process. Reach out to your site visitors to reassure them and to repair the damage the malware has caused your brand. Clear and transparent communication is the way to go and will help you regain trust. There are three pillars to WordPress security, detection, removal, and prevention. Prevention is arguably the most important in the long term because not having a hack at all is vastly better than having to deal with one. In the next few sections, we will look at how to prevent the Japanese keyword hack or any other malware for that matter from reinfecting your site again. Step number four, preventing a malware reinfection. The important thing to do now is to plug any loopholes in your website security. Here are a few things you can do to protect your website from hackers. Install a security plugin which has daily scans, automatically cleans malware, and has a firewall to protect your website from exploits. Change all the passwords including user passwords, database, and SFTP passwords. Force reset all the user accounts. Review plugins and themes and remove ones that aren't in active use. If you had null plugins or themes before, get rid of them entirely. Update everything. WordPress plugins and themes. Updates address vulnerabilities, which are the biggest reasons that websites get hacked. Implement SSL, invest in regular backups as they can be a lifesaver when things go sideways. WordPress security is an ongoing process rather than a one-time activity. A good strategy is to have a plan in place to review things like users, activity logs, passwords on a regular basis. Here are some key takeaways from this video. There are four steps to get rid of the Japanese keyword hack. Number one, scan your website to confirm the hack. Number two, clean the hacked files and the malware from your website. Number three, conduct damage control. Number four, take preventive measures so this doesn't happen again. I hope this video has been helpful. Comment below if you're stuck anywhere and I will try my best to help you out. Do hit that like button if you found this video helpful. It really motivates us to make more such videos. That's all for today. This is Julian, your friendly neighborhood geek, and I will see you again next week.